Here's a riddle for you. You've got dirty hands from working in the kitchen. But how do you get to the soap without contaminating the soap dispenser? Well, enter the automatic soap dispenser and enter Adam Reed, who's going to tell us which one was the winner of our testing. It's sort of a culinary catch-22. Yeah, Your is. hands yes. are dirty, you don't want to contaminate the soap dispenser, but you need soap. We have four different models of automatic soap dispensers. Hands-free, battery-operated, use it with a motion sensor so it knows you're there. The price range was $25 to $60. I use one of these at home and I have to tell you, it's a game changer. I have always been careful about washing my hands before I cook and during cooking. And now I have to say, I wash my hands every time I pass through the kitchen. Really? It's great and more hand washing can't be a bad thing. The tests were far and wide. Testers first got their hands greasy with olive oil. They also got their hands contaminated with raw poultry and then used each dispenser <laughs> five times. Wow. They tested the activation distance, the uh, responsiveness of the sensor by holding their hands at varying heights and distances away. Okay. They used each dispenser 20 times on a wet surface to see whether it would shift while it was being used. They used each dispenser about 15 times to calculate the volume of soap dispensed in each instance. And in the last test, they timed how long it took from activating the sensor to getting your soap. Now, before getting soap out of these, you have to put soap into them. Right. Liquid soap for all of them. Some of them were easier to fill than other ones. This one, for instance, had a very small opening at the top of the soap reservoir, so you had to be a little careful pouring the liquid soap in there. Also, the soap reservoir was opaque. There was a tiny little window here <laughs> that's supposed to give you a sense of how much soap is in there, but it was hard for testers to see. And in fact, some of them even overflowed this guy by sure. accident. So it's much better if your soap reservoir is like the one right in front of you. If it's clear, you can see how much soap is in there, right. and if you have a much wider opening. Getting soap out of one of these dispensers should be kind of an instant gratification thing. Sure. And these two, took about four seconds to dispense the soap. It doesn't sound like a long time, four seconds. Right. But it felt like a long time. You want it now. You want it right now. There was a second problem with these in that the soap was dispensed in this sort of web of wispy, sloppy threads mm. because the nozzles at the dispensers were open and circular and they just didn't cut off the flow of soap very neatly. Gotcha. These two in front of you did a much better, much faster job. They dispense soap in less than a second. And they're made by the same company and they feature what the company calls a no drip valve, which actually turned out to be a no drip valve. Works as advertised. It's a little silicone valve. It's shaped like an upside down triangle and it really cut off the flow of soap very neatly. Testers also tried the different distances and they found that all of the sensors were pretty responsive. They could hold their hands anywhere from an inch to two and a half <laughs> inches in front of the machines and get the soap out. So these two were the top performers. They're both made by the same company, Simple Human. And this is the winner. This is the Simple Human sensor pump. It's about $40. And testers gave it the edge for a couple of reasons. It's got this transparent soap reservoir. It's got a nice big opening so it's easy to fill. And it's also got the smallest footprint of all of these so it's going to take up less space by the sink. There you go. If you want to keep your hands nice and clean, then pick up the winning automatic soap dispenser. It's the Simple Human Sensor Pump and it retails for about $40. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.